know, record-breaking snow and cold have made for a very busy winter for homeowners, perhaps too busy shoveling and staying warm to think about all that goes with putting their house up for sale. But professionals are telling people thinking of that, that that makes this the very best time to sell. This winter has been a challenge for real estate professionals. Snow banks often too high to see the few signs that didn't get plowed away. The extra snow and cold we've gotten, canceling a few open houses and causing other hardships as well. We've heard a couple of stories from other agents about you know one of the fuel guys missed the delivery and the seller was out of town and had some cracked radiators, but uh, luckily that's nothing we had to deal with. Overall transactions seem to be down on the coast from last year, but experts say with interest rates so low, the buyers are around. There just isn't much inventory for them to choose from, which means Allison Marcotte, who listed her home on Wednesday, gets a jump on the competition that may be waiting for warmer weather. It's been a long winter and I've been thinking about selling my house for quite some time and I decided that now because spring is around the corner it would be a good time to start the process. Around here you're more apt, more uh, equipped to deal with snow and it's people get plowed out and shoveled out pretty quickly and they're ready to go. He says the winter effect is mostly psychological and while things can take longer they still get done. How do you inspect a house when it's buried under snow and ice? Well, obviously you can't inspect the roof because it's covered with snow, but you know the septic inspectors have shovels and they can dig. They just have to do a little extra digging to get through the snow, so it's not a problem. Well, some agents and brokers I spoke to say they had seen listings pick up in the last several days. Perhaps homeowners thinking the worst of the winter weather is over, but it is a seller's market, and with all this pent-up demand, they're expecting it could be a very busy spring. Reporting live in Portsmouth, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.